Try to go to 85. Good. What was that? What? Oh, uh, that hurts. It's been an upwind or something. This is going to be a little rough, huh? Oh, yeah. A little buffet. But we're piloted by an unbelievably skilled pilot, so the buffet is no factor. Yeah, you're in good hands. I am. <laughs> I am in good hands. And I ain't kidding. Watch your head, though. <laughs> Picture the wind interacting with these peaks. Yeah, it's just picture that. Gnarly over here. Absolutely crazy. Look at our updraft. Uh huh. Good. Fly the airplane. You're flying the airplane. Good job. Good work. Let me ask you this: Is flying a an offensive or a defensive act? Uh, offensive. I'll look it up. Or I don't know, you gotta be Let's think about it. Are you are you able to control the wind? No. Defensive. So what's your best shot at doing what? Reacting Over, to it. Yeah. So reacting to the wind, is that offensive or defensive? Defensive. Good. So I'll ask you the question again. Is flying an offensive or defensive act? Defensive. Good. The more you understand that, the better you'll do. You can't change the wind. All you could do is present the airplane to the relative wind in a certain way, which will result or produce a certain result. Does that make sense? Yep. Good. Flying is a defensive act, my friend. Good work. Solid work. I guess we'll just keep the power in because how windy it is. Uh huh. Good stuff. Truck that thing in there. Should we fly the plane, or should we hand fly the plane, or use autopilot in turbulence? I'd hand fly it. Good, it's better to hand fly it. Why? Because we, the human, could better react to... Correct. Good. Remember, back to what we said before, flying is defensive. We are reacting to the conditions that come at us. The autopilot is slower at doing that than the human. Good. Correct. Which is why you also want to avoid traffic last minute, hand flying, not autopilot. Good work. Apple Valley traffic, Skyhawk 733, Juliet Alpha, over the plant. Oh, two uh, seconds. Yeah. Southbound. Oh, two six. did a direct function. Oh, so, so you could delete the flight plan menu. Delete flight plan. Okay. Good. Now, uh, we already did the trip. Go out of that. I want, yeah, I want to go to flight plan. Highlight. Here. Highlight. Now highlight the destination line. There now is. type in 026. Because direct two functions, the flight plan will not give you the info. Good work. There you go. Uh, Done. Okay. Good. Now direct enter enter. Direct. Activate that. Good. Okay, now to get the weather. Oh boy, it? let's get the flight plan out. I want that to be a habit. Good. Yeah. Now to do what? Weather? Yeah. Highlight? Uh, I'm sorry, hit flight plan? Pull a little bit of power out. Do you want to transition to autopilot while we do this? Yeah. Cool. Um, so how would we set up the scoreboard? So on our nav, because we have it set up in here. Good. Boom. Uh, flight level change. Good. At 100, we had that done. Good. 
Before you do that, enter. direct enter, enter, because you see the plane moved from where you select nav. Enter, enter. Now hit autopilot. Not there, now. Good. So there won't be any crazy turning to intercept. Make sense? Yeah. Good. Solid. Uh, 24. Get the engine, lean that thing out down a little bit, down to 20. Good work. That's close enough for my climb. I forgot to do my climb checklist. Flaps are up, lights off, off, off. Good. Bottle set, we got it in the mix. Yeah. Okay. Solid. Now, I want to see the weather at our destination. My plan, highlight. Uh, highlight. Good. So if there were a reported METAR, it would show up right there, selected waypoint weather. Looks like there's no weather reporting at Lone Pine. No, no. So in that case, we could overfly the field and see what the sock is doing. Okay. Unless there's other people in the pattern, and then we could go ahead and uh, hear what they're doing. What else could we do as we make our way there in terms of frequencies? There's 118.25. That's the AWOS. So we put that at the bottom. Good. 118. So that man active. Go back up here. It's 122.8. It's already active. That's the same frequency in your current. Solid. Good work. We can't. Uh, we might be. Oh, we might be able to listen to it. I don't love that. See if it comes in. Yep. Good work. What's BIH? Bishop. Bishop. That's right. So it's capturing the altitude here. Uh -huh. There we Level, go. Leveling off. Check the temperatures. Good. Make sure we're good. Oh. Temperatures. Solid. Five. Close the Close that. Good work. Dial this in a little bit there. Good work. Zero. 2300 RPM. Two. One. Celsius, dew point, minus one Celsius, altimeter, two, niner, eight, three, inches of mercury, remark, density altitude, six, six, zero, zero. Long Pine Airport, automated weather observation, zero, one, niner, Zulu, wind, zero, zero, at one, four, not, gust. Two, one, nine. Visibility, more than one, zero. Temperature, three, two, Celsius. Dew point, minus one, Celsius. Altimeter, two, niner, eight, three. Inches of mercury, remark, density altitude, six, six, zero, zero. Automated weather observation, zero, one, two, niner, Zulu. Wind, three, one, zero, at one, three, knot. Peak gust, two, one, knot. Visibility, more than one, zero. Temperature, three, two, Celsius. Dew point, minus one, three, Celsius. four, altimeter, that's really two, short. niner, eight, three. I believe that's a grass strip. Remark, uh, density altitude, six, good work. six, zero. Zero. So, do a straight in for three, four? If there's no one else there. Okay. Lone Pine Airport, automated weather observation, zero, one, three, zero, Zulu. Oh, this is 37, Wind, so you three, got 47. One, zero, at one, two, knot, peak gust, two, one, knot. How would you know when to begin your descent? more than one, zero. Uh, 47 or 4,000. Two Celsius. Dew point, minus one Celsius. Uh, altimeter, eight, two. So eight minutes are. Oh. How many minutes are, are we right now? Eight, 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 Got Are you done with two, the ATIS? One knot. Visibility. Good. <laughs> Sometimes we get to turn it up. Uh, 37. Good work. Enter. MSO. Enter. Boom. Okay, top of the sense right there. Uh, get out of it again. 
White fans out of it. Boom, top of the descent right in there. Look at that. You said top of the descent is eight minutes out, which is how many minutes? 17 minus eight is? Eight, nine minutes, eight, nine minutes yeah. right? Yeah. Top of the descent is 820. It works the same way. That's how um, uh, VNAV works. It's no smarter than you. Good, solid work. Yeah, we'll just match it to the hand. Solid. Okay. Give me some water. Absolutely solid. I'll do water too. I thought I brought two of them for us. You got one too? I, I don't. Bro, well, well, yeah, I put yeah, it in the back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got a water. Okay. You're doing, you feel good today. You're doing a good job. Yeah. Good stuff. I feel a little bit better today. Good. I mean, every time I'm hoping it gets a little better. Absolutely. Good. No. Good. Three one to grab three four. Good. Enter. Straight. Good. Activate. Okay. Good. Oh, well, boy, boy, what did we forget? <laughs> that might be a pet peeve of yours. Uh, oh, it screwed up my direct enter dinner, though. So I now need to go to direct. No, no, no. Clear. Flight plan. Highlight. Uh, okay. Highlight the straight waypoint. Go up. Direct enter. Uh, direct enter. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. So we did everything good. What else do we need to do now in order for the plane to descend when we reach our top of descent? We need to put it in the Good. Rename. 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 Solid. Good. Vertical track. There's five Sorry. things we need to do. If you do four, if you do four and not five, the plane won't do it. You got to do them all. Solid. Good work. So this is where the jets just fly crazy fast well, through. Well, on the next valley over. Not really through here. Crazy. And this was the military jet over there? Yeah. Oh, boy. What kind of plane? I, I don't know which one it was. Uh, Falcon or something? Or the, no, uh, the Hornet. Oh, poor pilot. Yeah. I bet they die here all the time, unfortunately. Every two years. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. I don't know. They're all, like, based out of the Bourne. That's horrible. Okay, where's my cruise check? I got a little bit left on the cruise. But the throttle, we got that 20, 22. A little bit left in the cruise. Close, lights are off. Destination's all set up. Mm. Oh, we got the comm set, 12.8. Solida. Smile. What's that? Smile. Smile. You ever, you know how to use your iPhone? Let me show you something. Hit this button. This is better quality. Oh, it is? 100% because that camera's better. That's how you do a selfie. Look at that. Oh, so you're teaching me something. Look at that. <laughs> this camera's I, I much need better. I to give you some aviator gla glasses, man. There okay, now smile on this one. <laughs> <laughs> one, two. <laughs> there uh, you go. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Absolutely solid. Solid work. We're cruising, man. We're cruising. How many miles is the airport from us? Uh, that's to their waypoint. Uh, 26, 26. How long should it take us to get there? 11 minutes and 50 seconds. What time should we be there, local time? ETA is uh, 6.47. How much fuel are we scheduled to burn between here and there? System, we have 37, 33 gallons. How much? Three gallons. Good! Yeah. Easy? Yep. Absolutely solid work. Solid. 
Man, look at these peaks to our left. It's oh yeah. Insane. That one's fourteen thousand. I'm gonna get the oxygen and go up, fly around it. When I got to try those oxygen things I bought, and then go up to fourteen thousand. Connect them right over here. In Mount Whitney. Right over there. We can go fly around Mount Whitney. Uh huh. Have you done that before? No. No. Mount Whitney. Oh yeah. Now, why can't we see out the window with the camera? I think it's because it's all shade in here. Yeah, the jet shades. It's all shades. I don't know if it's the jet shade. I think it's all shady. Yeah, that's too know. bad. I never thought about that. Is this, is it installed yeah. or they just shoved it in there? It, yeah, they don't come off. They don't come off? No. Okay. No way. Interesting, okay. Yeah, it might be the jet shades. Yeah, that's too bad because it, a lot of nice scenery out here for your scenery. viewers. Yeah, a lot of nice scenery. It's not green, but you know, it's brown. It's maroon. Why is our plane not tracking to our next waypoint? Not tracking, because we're on a. We're following a course. Are we? Why is the needle not centered? Is the autopilot tired today? No, uh, it's compensating for the... Uh, Even when it compensates, the plane should be pointing that way, but the needle should be centered. Are we in GPS mode? Oh, we're in roll mode. Ooh. No, don't go to heading. Just what? press GPS. Nav. When did, it, when did it do that? Whenever we it did the uh, straight with the VNAV, when it disconnected the GPS, Anytime you're an autopilot, the GPS function goes off, it automatically defaults to roll. Oh. Make sense? So, right now we're in altitude. I'm pressing altitude. Uh -huh. It reverts to pitch mode. If I press GPS, it reverts to roll mode. Oh, uh, okay. So, think of it this way. Roll and pitch mode are the absolute defaults, unless we specifically select a different mode, or autopilot's off. I Does that make sense? That. Yeah, I didn't catch Vertical that. track. Good learning. We could just do direct enter enter. Absolutely good learning. Should be going down. How many? How fast is that going? Oh, 500 feet a minute. 48 seconds, yeah. 584. If we began a descent now, we would need 524 feet a minute. But since we're beginning a descent wherever it's scheduled to in 34 seconds, we'll need 570. Which makes sense. The closer we get to our waypoint, to our place that we want to be at, at 4,700 feet, the steeper our descent needs to be. Make sense? Yeah. Cool. Solid. Absolutely solid. The wing. Let's hit flight plan. Boom. Oh, let's go big knob all the way to the left. There you go. Good. So you see, even with a hundred knot crosswind, the plane will be flying this way, but the needle will be centered. So anytime your needle is not centered, ask yourself, am I in the correct autopilot mode? Yeah. Am I in the mode I think I'm in? Good. That was a good uh, little learning. Good. It's great things that these happen. And that's why I always say when, with Autopilot Engage, we monitor the system. We don't go to sleep. Good job. Let's reduce power. We don't want to be anything higher than 120 on this descent because we will hit some turbulence in a little bit as we get down with the mountains. And we, don't, we want to be below uh, maneuvering speed. We might hit a jolt. Yeah. Oh, so there's that lake I was telling you about. Which one? The lake up there on the left. Oh, okay, Eleven the one with the, the boats and stuff? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. The, yeah. And then this is the airport we'd fly into. Yeah. Got it, low pine. Nothing's a fun desert speaking. I just 
just woke up from my nap, so I should be on the ground about the 10 minutes. That's what I'm going to for a What's our density on the field here? 10,000. <laughs> so, 9,500, yeah. Yeah. So Crazy. we don't want to, like, <clears throat> land it with full... Oh, rain. no, that's here at 7,200 feet. Right, but as we go down, though, yeah. So it's a 2,000-foot difference. So at the airport... If it's 37, it'd probably be 57, 6,000 feet. That's the altitude, something like that. Yeah. Give or take. Let's go back to map. Good. Solid. Good work. Do you feel more comfortable maneuvering with the uh, yeah. avionics? Good. Well, uh, oh, yeah. Solid. Low point traffic, white Cessna, 12 miles to the south, inbound landing, 3-4. Good work. You see the diamonds above us? Once that touches the center, it's with, that's the made up glide slope. Hit oh. approach. Press approach. Good. You see the GPs in standby, glide path? Okay. So now it's armed that. So whenever the diamond will touch the center, it will continue taking us down all the way to the runway. Because remember, VNAV is only taking us to this waypoint. Okay. So that will take us all the way to the runway. Easy? Yep. Solid. This this approach button basically arms both the glide path and the lateral and vertical. But we, are, we already have our lateral arm because we're in GPS. So we already are in the mode that tracks the lateral courses. So all it armed was glide path. But if I, for instance, weren't heading right now and I pressed approach, Oh, it would switch its GPS. If you're showing up at an angle to intercept the final approach course and you press the approach, uh -huh. it would put the GPS on standby or the nav on standby and then intercept it whenever the needle okay. came in. You want to get fuel here? Uh, we could do fuel here. Yeah, because we're going that way, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah, do we'll fuel here. Yeah, uh -huh. okay, cool. Yeah. I'm trying to look for the airport, man. Shehile malu le malu, shehile malu. Oh, there it is, okay. Got it? That's a small one. Small little airport. Smaller than China. Man, look at these peaks. It's oh, yeah. unbelievable we how need, tiny we, we are in this world. Yeah, we need to go up to Mammoth and then fly back around the, the with peak. the oxygen. Oh, Mount, yeah. Mount Whitney to be kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Look at those lenticular clouds. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Shehi le malo le malo. Shehi le malo. Shehi le malo. The one change. Arc density altitude. Six, six, zero, zero. Sixty-six hundred, wow. One to go. Lone Pine Airport, automated weather observation, zero, one, four, four, Zulu. Wind, three, one, zero, at one, three, knot. Peak gust, one, niner, knot. Visibility. Okay, I didn't change that. Okay. I see the numbers. Solid. How many miles out are we? Uh, five, five, six miles. Cool. Solid work. You see them numbers. Yeah. It's a nice little area with the green. All of the oh, that's really nice. I love Jet it. Jet ski and stuff like that. Wow. Is this the lake? No, the lake yeah, is there. That little one. This right tiny here, right here. Yeah. Oh, man, the airport's right here. Oh yeah. I love it. See the runway? Oh yeah. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. If you lost an engine right now, what would you do? Uh, pitch for 80 and then look for a spot. Uh, we wouldn't make the runway for sure. For sure not. There's a highway right there, double lane. Yeah, look at that. Look uh, at that field. It's all smooth. Yeah. You could close your eyes and it will land. It will land itself on that thing. Look at that. Yeah. That's endless, endless room. Might screw up my skirts on my. Eh, well, maybe. <laughs> but looks like that's the smoothest. You go right, then you go that way, right back into the wind. Yeah, you you could do your whatever you want to do, and then yep, see what the wind's doing, and then. Uh... 
All right, let's uh, start slowing down. We'll do flaps, and we'll clean the airplane up, and let's open the count flaps. And let's go prop mixture full forward. We're going to go all the way? Uh huh. And then let's go all lights on. All right. The reason we go all the way is because you might need to do a go around and add full power. You want all that power. It's a turbo, right? Yeah. Good work. I, I need to get that decent checklist on there. Good. All you need to do is maintain the power. Once this diamond touches the center, we'll switch to, switch to glide path. There it is, GP. You see that? Yeah. All you need to do is maintain control of the power. Now the plane will descend on its own to the runway. That's so cool. Uh -huh. Let's make a call and we'll say we are short final runway 34 at low pine. Low pine traffic, white Cessna, short and final 34 uh, low pine. Solid work. Absolutely solid. Look at the headwind, dude. Yeah. So there'll be no float. Remember, keep the power in a little longer than you typically do. Yeah. So put 20 in. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, huh? Yeah, you, it's all your call. That's a cool lake. So jet skiing there, huh? Yeah. Love it. Man, this place is beautiful. It's just green in the middle of the uh, yeah, desert. That's nice. Wow. So we got a crosswind come here. We're not wanting to be on this side of the runway a little bit. Just to push us across. Or no. The, so this thing's off a little bit. So the crosswind is coming. It's 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 kind of fighting for the wind. Yeah, um, can I disconnect it now? Or what you yeah, you can disconnect it. Yeah, of course. Go ahead, disconnect it. Yeah. Flight director. What? Flight director. Good. Clean that up. Something. Good work. We can even go flaps uh, full. Yeah. Yeah, straight down the pipe. Good. Beautiful. And is it left or right traffic here? What, the pattern or the... The up? pattern, traffic pattern. We'll check on the ground. Okay. Let's do a touch and go, actually. I'll check if it's left or right. Traffic. Lone Pine looks like right traffic. She comes straight down the back. God, this scenery is beautiful. Wow. Absolutely phenomenal. Good. Good. Take your time finessing the airplane. Keep that nose wheel off the ground. Right rudder. Good. 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 So you saw I helped you with the rudder, but I want you to keep that in mind. Flaps dead. Full power. See, we had to straighten out that airplane before we touched down. Make sense? All right. Good. Center line, center line, more right rudder, good. Whoa. That was me. And we can take it away. Good. Good, we could make a call. Uh, I'll find traffic white stuff now. Close traffic for 3 4. Upwind, right close no traffic, point. 3 4. Good. And we'll do procedures, select, activate vectors to final. Good situational awareness. There we are. Absolutely beautiful scenery. Well, Pine Traffic Y7 is going to ride up one crosswind for 3 4. Go on. Good. Why are we not climbing? This is the golf course right here. Or it used to be. Yeah. Not anymore. Don't find traffic. White stuff and then right downwind for three four. Don't find. Good work. 
Wow, big golf course. No, that ain't a golf course. No, it used to. It must have been now. No. Uh, really? It's the Kern uh, da, 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 River. Wow. Yeah. Looks like a golf course. Crazy. Okay, being our numbers. Flaps 10. Everything's good. All right. Lone Pine traffic, white stuff in turn, right base for 3 4, Lone Pine. Solid work. Solid, solid, solid work. Don't find traffic wise, that's turn your final for 3 4. Don't find. Good work. You see how being slightly high with these flaps is not a big factor. No. You come right straight down. Right straight down. Just kind of cool. Remember, whatever, however amount of crooked the plane is facing into the wind before you touch down, use your feet to straighten it out. Feet is the equivalent of taking that nose and making straight with the runway. That's it. If it's pointing to the left, right rudder. Straighten the plane out on touchdown. Otherwise, you land sideways on the wheel, and that's not good. You don't want to side load it. So the feet make the plane straight, and the yoke keeps the nose off the ground. That's it. That's it. Go back to good flap stand, full power. Oh, you want to? You want? You want to stop? Gas. Oh. We're good on gas. We could do another one. Okay. Yeah. yeah good. Good work. Better job with the rudder, but after we touch down, get back to that center line with your feet okay. with the rudder. Well, my traffic, my stuff, uh, close traffic uh, for three four. Okay. That was a little bit better, huh? Yes. Once we touch down, again, maintain that runway center line. Remember, we never stop flying until the plane is shut down at the parking spot. Good. Good work. Good work, Robbie. <laughs> Robbie! <laughs> Hi, Robbie! Don't find Travis. Why is this? Cross went for three, four. Oh, good work, Robbie. Don't find. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> What's, what are you laughing at? Huh? What are you laughing at? Oh, man. Look at the scenery. This is sick, Robbie. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing. It's unbelievable.
is absolutely crazy. I'm fine, traffic, white stuff, and I turn left down, one for three, four. Right down, one for three, four. Good. I'm oh, fine. Good job. Here's what I want to do. Let's go closer to the runway. Turn this close, closer to the runway. Close, 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 close. We'll do something called short approach. Okay. Short approach is where you lose your engine. Okay. And you need to figure out a good glide path. Go closer more to the runway, more, more. You need to basically figure out when to turn and when what to make the runway okay. and to land. So let's go closer. There's 47. Let's go closer. Here we go. Just like this. And Robbie, guess what happened? We just lost an engine. Do whatever you need to do. You could fly however you want to fly. You could use slaps, you could not use slaps. Do whatever you want to do. We just need to make the runway land on it with no power, just energy. Okay. I have the power. Okay. That's good. I want you to see what this looks like. You never want to take flaps out after you put them in. It's a rule. Shit, I didn't even make it. No, you never know. If you won't make it, we won't make it. It'll be good learning. Definitely good learning. Ah, oh, man, it's going to be so close. Oh, yeah, we don't make it. Think we'll make it? No, but... We won't make it. No. Right, you got the power back. Good. <laughs> good learning. Wow. I Great. need to turn a lot short. There you go. Yeah. Great learning. Okay. We'll it's 6,600 foot density altitude. Wow. Great learning. Get to your spot quick. Add good. power. Add power. Add power. Add power. More and more and more. Good. More. Good. Good. Right rudder. Right, 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 right. Oh. I think we had left rudder in there. Yeah, I had the wrong rudder. Good. All good. Good learning. Flaps up. Damn. There we go. And let's... Uh, do some fuel. Yeah, we'll do fuel. Good. There we are. You. Ladies and gentlemen. Wow. And maintain 1,200 RPM. You want a higher RPM at a high density out to the airport. Hey, John, welcome to Lone Pine. We made it. Shehile Malo, le Malo, Shehile Malo. Turn into the wind, right? Oh, this is a long taxi down to there. That's crazy. <laughs> the airport's there, the runway's here. Yeah, look at that. You get to your spot, and then, then you can just put all the flaps on the runway and get down. So. Well, so what we learned is, in a short approach, in general, you want to turn to your uh, the landing to spot sooner. Because remember, if we're high, we have tools. We have flaps, and we could slip. If we're low, we don't have any tools. We right. don't have an engine. So you'd rather be high than low. Make sense? Yeah. Good, easy schmazoo, folks. Good stuff. Man, look at those mountains. Oh, yeah. You feel so insignificant in front of them. It's crazy. And there's hangers here. Yeah, that's a nice little thing. I bet a hanger here is 50 bucks a year. No. Oh, I... <laughs> Okay, 70 bucks a year. <laughs> 1,200 RPM, Robbie. Good. High density altitude, higher RPM. Good. Because there's less air, you want it good. Might have to push the plane back or something. 
It's all good. Alright, I'm not so good. Lights are off. 